Hello everyone, I hope you're all well. Welcome back to my channel. Um, it still feels so weird me saying that, it just doesn't. It's just weird for me. Um, my hair is so slipped back by the way. Um, it's hair wash day, it's Friday for me. Um, I literally wash my hair once a week. Like Washing my hair is a big thing because I've got extensions in as well and it's not just washing hair and leaving it. It's washing it, it's blow drying it, you know, giving it a nice little bit of treatment and you know, it's good hair care, you know, and I probably should wash it more than once because that is kind of disgusting, but that's all I have time for. And if I could literally go for blow dries all the time, then I bloody would, but it doesn't work like that. So yeah, I'm filming tonight mine and Santi's evening routine. Like when I actually think about our evening routine, we're quite boring really. Like to be fair, today he has been a little bit groggy. Um, I think it is his teeth, bless him. And obviously nothing's gone grown through yet, but he's just been like biting on anything and he's just been, but you know what some days i think is he teething is he not like i wish i knew because he hasn't got the red cheeks or anything like that i mean he dribbles all day long like all day long but if you can sort of, anyone can sort of let me know any more symptoms that make me think no he definitely is teething because i do give him that um ashton and parsons teething powder which is brilliant i tried the gel he just licked it basically so the powder was definitely better for us so that's what we use now and i usually i usually use it over night time um because that's when i sort of notice he needs it more but maybe i should have put it on for him in the day to be fair because he has just been a little bit like growly today and you know so far I touch wood oh my god any wood around he slept a little bit longer because his naps today have been a joke like he's just not wanting to nap i'm literally waking up after 20 minutes so yeah he's been a little bit tired and moody and so i'm gonna see how he is with the camera tonight um but bless him so my evening routine really is um but you know what it all depends on his last nap because it's all about wake windows and stuff i never thought i'd be that person to like care about wake windows but they actually are really important and how long a baby should be awake and that sort of stuff i mean with routine and stuff like if i'm out and about i really do try and let it go and forget about it because i've really noticed like it's so good like having your child in a routine but then at the same time it can be quite a lonely life because i know i do it like psychologically i'll sit there and if someone goes oh, do you want to go out this time i'd sit there and think mm, mm, no bottle you know i really should be having a sleep at this time and it's actually like a routine is great because obviously your child does then i feel like get into a better sleeping pattern but it can be quite lonely because then you do become like very structured and when you go on holidays and things like that i don't want to become like that so i feel like it's finding the balance like definitely finding the balance of having a good routine but also being lenient because it can become really lonely like this week genuinely i haven't really seen anyone like i genuinely haven't i mean the weather's gone a little bit crap but you can get into that habit and I really do need to break that actually because tomorrow I'm actually going shopping with my sister and my mum and taking the baby and I'm actually really excited to just do some of that because, and get out, you know, if anyone else, I'm really happy for inspiration, can tell me what I can do in the week, I'd really like appreciate that because I feel bad on Santi as well, mum guilt again, um, and what I should be doing with him, obviously I take him to play groups and stuff but do you reckon he gets agitated being indoors? Anyway, hi, I'm really rambling on now. Um, my evening routine. So it all depends on Tanny's last nap, um, on how it goes. I like to get into bed by half past seven. Um, latest, I mean, it all depends how he's feeling as well. So it usually is, um, I usually do a little bit of playtime and stuff. Um, bath and bottle and bed. And, oh my god, today I'm going to try and get this on camera. I put him on, uh, on his front a couple of times and he rolled. I cannot believe it. Like, Santi rolled. Like, that was a big deal. I wish I filmed it then. But, yeah. So, I'm going to show you my evening routine. Um, Santi is currently napping. And once he wakes up, we can go from there. So it's currently four o'clock. Um, usually I like Santi to nap till about five o'clock, but everything's gone a little bit backwards today, but that's fine. Just you're gonna be shattered, aren't you? You're gonna be so tired. <laughs> so I have been putting him in, oh, that's his, you know, it's really good. I've got like a little camera and stuff because he naps now in his room, which is perfect. Um, so then we're not loud. You've got your white noise machine on. Yeah. <laughs> so um what are these called what are they called again i just know that i can't literally my brain is terrible um so he sleeps in these to be honest i do need to get him out of them now because i think they are till six months um but he's sleeping really well at the minute so i don't want to like disturb him so we'll see look at all the dribble darling 
darling boy. So currently, I actually need, if anyone else can inspire me, obviously I know this cot, um, obviously, you know, when the baby's in there, nothing, you know, should be in there at all, I completely know that, but I want a little bit of bedding or a little bit of decor that just looks cute, and I've ordered a neon sign, like a Santiago, um, sign for up there i cannot wait for that to arrive um and yeah i just think it'll be so so cute for him because i just feel like his room's so bare at the minute like his walls up when we like did when we had um wayfair come round and like do his bedroom and stuff and i'm doing do his bedroom it was so nice because we had the the tent the teepee and obviously the shelves were all up and it was so glam but obviously when we moved house um everything just you know got taken and i actually don't know what happened to that teepee Oh, it's so annoying actually like you had the elephant wallpaper that's i just feel terrible because he hasn't got that right now but we'll get there and i think i'll just make it different and spruce it up a little bit but i just feel really bad at the minute because you know i just feel like his room's a bit crap like we really need to like put some more artwork up and stuff but yeah we will get there i know we will he literally loves this piano so much um he literally loves it I like to, I definitely do, um, I like to do a bit of playtime with him, um, because I just feel like, it's so easy, I need to go, right, put some flashing bubbles on, that's what he loves at the minute, I can't watch Coco Melon, I'm genuinely so against it, I just, it, I don't know why it makes me so angry, like, a, a show makes me really angry, so there's none of that. Are you gonna roll, are you gonna show everyone how you roll? Are you? Are you gonna show everyone? Oh, yay. Go on. Yeah. <laughs> well done. You clever boy. He's your favourite one, isn't it? That's your good boy. That's your finger. That's a good boy. Yeah. You having a play? What's that? Clever boy, gonna take it. Gonna take go on. Go on. That's a good boy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That hand tasty again, isn't it? That hand is very, very tasty. Yeah. Mummy gonna run you a nice bath now. Yeah. So little handsome, he's just chilling in his chair. He literally loved this is his favourite toy, the rattle. This, even though he gets really agitated with it. <laughs> I just got this out of the fridge. Well, I did a little while ago, so it's gone a little bit warm. But he doesn't really get the gist of that yet. This has literally been the best teething thing for him. Um, but I feel like he'd rather... He won't, really wants to bite on his rattle, and it's just not happening, is it, Baba? No. So we're just going to chill here for a bit. Watch a little bit of telly. I mean, the Netflix isn't working at the moment. She's so, so annoying because... We like splash and bubbles, don't we, darling? We like splash and bubbles. And, oh, Netflix is now loading. Honestly, this Wi-Fi in this house really breaks my heart. Like, why does it have to be bad? I just don't get it. Like, why? Why, why, why? Sorry, but I cannot deal with this chair. He literally, he makes me want to cry every time. <laughs> you look like a little geezer. Yeah? All right, babe? Want a drink? What are you doing? Look at him. He's really holding himself up really well now. So it's actually coming up to half past five now, so I'm going to run his bath. Um, how cute. This is my baby changing mat from the My Baby range. He's just had a poo, thank God. He hasn't pooed all day. <laughs> so I'm very excited to change that. So, yep, yeah, this is my cute collection with my baby. I literally am so happy. I can't believe I've still got a range of them. They're just amazing. But how cute the little elephants. Um, and I called it Cherish the range because I feel like you should cherish every single moment but my baby caddy is currently messy but I thought I'd actually show you um what I use you know what's in my box um which is just so useful so I have like labeled cotton pads here 
in here. This is from Tommy Tippy, so it basically is oh, all the essentials that you need. I really need to sort this out. A little comb, a thermometer. We actually took that from the hospital, to be fair. A nail file, nail clippers. These nail scissors are unreal. I am now not scared to cut Santi's nails because because they're blunt on the ends, you don't have to worry. The nail clippers, we have cut his finger once and oh my God, it was the worst experience ever. This is disgusting, okay? This is to get bogeys out. I can't, I just, I cannot use that. I've done it before and it is literally, it makes me gag. I'd rather use a cotton pad. I just can't. So, we also have in here his Nunaco spray. This is from Spain. I literally love Nunaco. I've been brought up with it as a baby, so I'm just all for it. I spray it on like his hair, um, all on, on his clothes and stuff. Obviously, I only use a little bit of it because you have to be careful and stuff. A little brush I use on the morning and the night time. Soda cream, obviously, when his bum saw. I use here the coconut oil. I use this on his hair and sometimes like on his body and stuff if like parts of his body are dry. I use this from newborn really um, sometimes. I don't use it as much but look how big the tub is. I thought I love that until my next kid. I use Baby Dove Nighttime Lotion. Obviously for night time. I use Johnson's Baby Powder. I know there's such like um, people that are so against Johnson's but I like Johnson's. It's working for us so we're going to use it. So I have in here the Child's Farm Factor 50. Um, obviously we're not using that at the moment but when it was warm I was putting that on him which is absolutely brilliant. So good. He did not come in a reaction at all. Like he just responded to it brilliantly. This as well, people talk, ask me so many times, what did I use for San um, when he had, because when he was born, he come up, well, a few weeks later we come up with really bad like skin, bless him, it was like called baby acne. This is um, a baby barrier cream. I think it is actually um, for nappy rash. But a lovely woman, um, I wish I remember her name, she DM'd me and said to me, I use this, two days later, the acne had gone, cleared. This has saved me. Like, every time I feel like his face comes up a little bit, I put this on and it, like, goes. It's like Mary Poppins. I don't know what it is. Obviously, I don't use it every day. But to get rid of the spots, this is being a lifesaver. Vino baby barrier cream, so love that. Also, I have the Child's Farm Baby Moisture in here. I usually use that in the day. I'm all for creams, guys. Like, I literally love a cream. I use this Coco So Baby Face Cream, which is so nice. It's so... It's gone a bit watery now, though, um, from the sun. Water wipes I use. I still use them from Baby. And these nappies are in here. He's, I've just put him up to a size three. I don't know if that's too quick, but... I thought like he might need the room because his like, legs and stuff look quite sore, you know, from the nappy. Nappy sacks and stuff. Here I have my Vaseline. I put this on his bum, um, bum, you know, around the ball area, all of that, um, to basically, um, it protects. So it actually protects the baby from getting a sore bum. Obviously, that he still does get a sore bum sometimes, but I always use this um, every time I change him. Not, maybe not sometimes, every time, but I always make sure it's morning and night time, definitely. Because it's a barrier, that's what it does. It basically protects them from any soarenesses and stuff so yeah that is in my baby caddy um all the essentials it is overfilled at the minute i always sort this out at the end of the night and then it just literally turns into a mess the next day so i'm gonna run little man's bath but before i do that i'm actually gonna show you people are gonna honestly think i'm crazy what i've been doing but Maybe I am a bit crazy, I don't know. Basically, right, I have been literally making Santi's bottles the old-fashioned way, like boiled kettle water, add the powder in and let it cool down. Anyway, I was going to started using the prep machine, but I found he was a little bit gassy, and I spoke to a couple of my mum friends, and they said they've been literally doing, you know, the mum, they, they literally found that they was using, um, their prep machine, and then they ended up not using it, because the reason why is their babies were a little bit unsettled, and I thought, you know what, maybe I should just try the old fashioned way. I mean, really, I should in the morning like boil water and put it in a flask and stuff and then like it will like be cool water and warm water in the day. But, you know, sometimes I do do that, but at the minute I'm just like, you know what, I'll boil it. I know when he's due his bottle so it can just cool down. And then I think I will bring the prep machine back in a little while, but I know it sounds funny, but when your baby is so settled in a technique, I think, oh, do I really want to start using something else? But people think I'm crazy like that and there's a prep machine for a reason. And... I know, like, maybe I am a bit crazy, but I just find he's happy this way. So I'm going to do it this way. If he's got to cool down for half hour, it's got to cool down. I mean, he's a little bit annoying sometimes of a night time. Um, but that's why there's wig made, guys. <laughs> do you know what I'm saying? That is why there is ready made. So he drinks, um, 
how many bottles does he have today? So he usually has a bottle about seven, half seven. Then he'll have another bottle about half ten, eleven. Then he has another bottle about two, half two. So it's usually like three and a half hours he goes in between. Um, now I'm going to forget how many scoops I'm doing. So he then he'll have his next bottle at about six, half six. So he usually does go four hours um, between his like bedtime bottle. But he's kind of cool with that. Like he doesn't really mind. To be fair, he's so cute. Like over the morning, he doesn't even moan for his milk. So he has seven ounce bottles um, throughout the day. And then over night time, we've noticed that he usually wakes up. So he goes a bit about half seven and it all depends what time he wakes up. Like if he wakes up quite early, like half 12, he usually downs his bottle. But if he doesn't and wakes up at like half two, then he doesn't really want his milk. I feel like we're getting to a stage where sometimes he really wants his bottle in the middle of the night and other times he doesn't. But he still wakes once in the middle of the night, which I don't think is that bad really. Um, considering he's like five months old, coming up to five months, I think that's really, really good. Like we've got him into that kind of routine. But I wonder when that night time bottle will go. I don't know. Um, but it's mad because on the bottles, it always comes up as eight ounces. Eight ounces, but obviously it's only seven. Must be a bit like all the water and the powder and that kind of stuff. But yeah, so then I let it cool down. Sometimes I put a little jug of water and stuff. <laughs> I'm really doing it the old fashioned way, but it's working for me right now, and that's how I'm going to do it. So, yeah, bottle made. I'm going to put it in a jug of water, run his bath, and get him in the bath. So, I've literally just run him a little bath. He used to um, be in this um, bath, which was brilliant. It's a snuggle, snuggle bath, which was so cute for him. But he still fits in it lovely, but he loves to splash. So, I was like, you know what? I'm going to lay him out in it, and I feel like he's fine. He's happy, and his ears are fine, you know, because like, you worry about their ears under the water and stuff. but. He seems to be really fine with it and stuff. Obviously, it's not too deep and I'm always here. So, yeah, and I just run a little shadow bath for him. I use um, the Nightly Adventures by Sam Fairs. Well done, by the way. That is amazing. Um, I use their um, foaming face and hand wash. Obviously, I use it for his face because I've noticed now his little under his neck gets a bit cheesy. Oh, my God, he doesn't smell like a newborn anymore. I use the Johnson's Baby Shampoo. I run his bath and I use the Johnson's bedtime bath. I love Johnson's, it just smells amazing. And I wash him with the Baby Dove Nighttime, Nighttime, not the accent then, Baby Dove Nighttime wash. So yeah, that is what I use. Nice. You love your bath. Yeah, you do. You He really does. If you're a ducky, yeah, gonna get it, gonna take it. If it's a new toy, he's not really interested. What are we gonna do when a ducky's there? Good boy, yeah, good boy. It's <laughs> tea time. Wash your hair, wash your hair. I don't know why you've got such an obsession with that. Of all the toys in the bar, that's what you want. Hello! Oh, you were dry. Using the cuddle dry towel is so cute. It's like a little hoodie and that on it. Oh, he's so handsome. Oh, he's so handsome. Isn't he? <laughs> Look at you, gorgeous boy. Look at you. I just love you so much. Yes. I'm sat here now with my little kettle crisps. I've been so good all week. I'm literally giving up crisps and chocolate and stuff, but it's Friday, so I'm treating myself. I'm treating myself to a little bowl of crisps and a large glass of wine tonight. Oh, yes. 
Santi's a bit miserable now, see, so because his nap wasn't that long. He's not a happy bum. But I'm gonna give him his bottle now. He's now on um size three man teat. Had a little bit of an issue because he was on size two and he was so bored on the bottle that like he was literally be drinking it, drinking it, drinking it at the beginning and all of a sudden he just stopped. He was like, he was drinking two ounces and then wouldn't drink none of his milk and it was like a chore for him to then drink it and because in the end he'd drink it, he was just fed up. But size three teat, oh my God, it's like a shot. I feel like he's done a, a shot basically because he's so quick so I do have to sort of pace feed him with that. Um, so yeah, I'm going to give him his little bottle. He's tired because... His nap was a bit crap today, so it is now 20 past six. I'm gonna give him his little bottle, um, and then read him a book, and read him a book, and I wanna get him a bed for seven, um, no later than that, but he's gonna be overtired to be fair, so I'll probably I'm gonna have to like soothe him tonight. <laughs> because he's gonna be knackered, honestly, this out of me. I cannot wait to sort my hair out. Um, so yeah, let's have bot bots, bubba. I am starving. I've all of it today as a tuna salad. My own fault. No, I'm just sitting here eating crisps. I mean, that's completely ruined the diet. Not like, what's the point? But yeah, I was saying my lovely followers, they really helped me out and just said, just go with your bubba. You know, if he's bored on the size, then give him a size three. But now he's being a bit of a... Hmm, he wants to test me tonight. You know it's hair wash day, that's the problem, Sam. You know, mummy wants to... Wash your hair tonight, dressing gown, curl it. You know that she's got a few things to do. That's why you're like, I'm drinking my milk. I'm not going to bed. I just know it. Should we try again in a bit? Should we try again in a bit? I don't know why you don't want it. It's been hours since you've had a bottle. Because you're tired. Have I left it too long? I don't think I have. I don't you want it? I think I'm gonna have to try again in about 10 15 minutes. We'll try again. This is what he does to me sometimes. He's just basically going, Look, he's smiling at me. He's smiling because you know you'll be cheeky. You're gonna cause mommy hell. I just know it. No, all right, we'll wait. essentials before bed i'm going to read him a little book i'm going to use the ashton and parson teething powder put him in his little zip up so look at him look so yeah i'm going to read him a little book now get ready for bed baby you're so tired read your little bookies she reads you the books what's it saying where's mr butterfly Look, it says, where's Mr. Frog? <laughs> yeah. So Sandy is now, I've literally just laid him down. Um, I always lay him down awake and I just sort of see how he goes. Like if he really, really cries, I always go in there and comfort him, give him a cuddle, give him a little rock and then he usually falls asleep. I always, always lay him down awake um, just to see if he can self-soothe. And you know what? At the beginning, he really didn't, like he could not, he just couldn't figure it out. Like why are you laying me down awake? Whereas as time's gone on, he's got a lot better with it. Some nights are better than others. Some nights he really does self-serve. Other nights he really doesn't. And the minute he's having a little moan, he just moans. It, I ignore a moan. But if he like screams, I'm like, oh my God, no, 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 I can't have that. But um, he's literally just laying there now, bless him. But whilst he's doing that, I'm literally just going to sterilise the bottle, um, get all this stuff done, and then I can have a shower. I literally haven't washed all day, guys. Hello everyone, I've literally finally had my shower, I feel so clean, I was going to take my glasses off but I am so blind, like I just cannot see, it's so sad. Santi is now half past, just after half past seven, Santi literally just went to bed, I laid him down, he had a little, I won't even say a moan really, he was just making weird noises and then he settled himself and went to sleep which was lovely because sometimes, like I said, all nights are different. Some nights I have to go in and help him. Other nights, he just does it by himself. But yeah, I've just literally had a shower. 
creamed, cleansed, all that kind of stuff. I'm not really cleansed really tonight. I've literally just put some face cream on, but I'm going to show you my products that I love and that I use. Um, this is not an ad or anything like that. Just thought I would show you all. So this hair shampoo and conditioner I've been using is literally brilliant. It's from my hairdresser. It's called Mona. So you know what? What I'm going to do is one day is... You know what, next week I'm getting my hair extensions redone, so maybe I'll do like a little video with Jamie um, about like my hair extensions and stuff and what's good for your hair and all that kind of stuff because we are using so many of the wrong things and I noticed after that Sandy my hair was sort of falling out, so this shampoo's been absolutely brilliant for that. Literally, the results I've seen are just fantastic, like with thickness and stuff, so really recommend that. Um, I think the problem is I love the whole Pantene and how they smell and all that kind of stuff, but these are actually really, really good for your hair, so... Yeah, face cream I use is a brand called Glossier, 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 whatever. And it's an American brand, which they are honestly amazing. So I use their priming moisturiser. It's like a little pink pot like that. It's literally amazing. Like I love it so much. I use the Glossier and I also use their eye cream as well. Um, I mean, the bags under my eyes. I don't know why they're so bad because I sort of am sleeping terribly. I wish I would get rid of them. So yeah, the face cream and their eye cream I literally love. I also use um, sometimes as well um, the Clarins tan drops. They're so good. I usually mix that with uh, my face cream. It just gives your face a little bit of a tan. Nothing too crazy. Just a little bit of subtle tan. And I also use your bite lash, which is amazing. It's pricey, but oh my god, girls, the difference it makes to your lashes, the growth is just unbelievable. Like oh my god, I love a bite lash. Best best thing ever like i've literally had lashes not had lashes had lashes not had lashes and honestly my lashes are just amazing now because i've been using it for a good while now i haven't had lashes for a while since Sandy. so five months and my lashes with mascara i love them they're just about lash all the way i use i've also been using um it's called just a little stretch mark oil for my c-section scar um i would only recommend using these scales um once you feel like you're healed and stuff obviously speak to your gp and all that kind of stuff because i don't want to advise wrong but i use this stretch mark oil because yeah i think it works <laughs> we'll see because my scar still is quite angry she's quite red and she so she she's a little bit aggressive right now sometimes i feel like it's healing and other times i feel like it's quite red um but it's not sore or anything like that unless i push myself like if i try and do a sit up or something like that i'm like oh daddy you're not ready for that so yeah i also use mitchum roll on deodorant i love mitchum some people love it some people hate it i'm in the love it bracket i use for my body vaseline um cocoa radiant it smells oh i just love it it smells amazing like i feel like it has a little bit of a tint to it as well because i feel like when i use it i feel a bit tinted and i don't know if this is a fact but not streaky or anything it's not like fake tan but i feel like it does have a bit of a tint to it love that vaseline it smells unreal actually i forgot this glossier they, they also do this and you put it i haven't used it actually yet tonight you put it here don't want this bro to fall down on your cheeks so nice and I also use, why have I put it away on myself? I love it, love it. It's lemony, it's beautiful. I just can't get enough. I just love the Nico so much. Always have, always will. And then I finish off with a little bit of the old Victoria's Secret spray. Mm -mm. This is smelly, it's love smell. When they said like Victoria's Secret was closing down, I genuinely thought I was never going to get Victoria's Secret again, but I can still get it, thank God, because I was devastated. So, yeah, now I'm literally going to just blow dry my hair, dressing gown, curl it, get my jammies on. I would feel all that, but I'm just like, my battery is very low on this camera. And also, I'm shattered. <laughs> I've poured myself a lovely glass of wine because I feel like I deserve it after a very long day. Um, I'm proud my lovely day over there. But yeah, I'm literally going to just do that, have a bit of food, um, get ready and get in bed because I'm just shattered. I'm literally tired by half past eight and it is ten to eight <laughs> so thank you all so much for watching this video i really hope you enjoyed it please subscribe and like and obviously if any you want to give me any little tips information or what you'd love to see from me um please comment below thank you all so much for watching and yeah i hope you enjoyed it